This video, we're investigating a, uh, a little downwind faster than the wind device that was proposed um, by Greg London on one of the forums. We used his particular uh, design that he came up with. And the interesting thing about the device is we've used something quite similar several times to demonstrate certain aspects of downwind faster than the wind. Uh, but as a device, as a whole, uh, if you have um, veins, symmetrical veins uh, distributed around the hub, it's absolutely impossible uh, for it to go as fast as the wind uh, and certainly not faster than the wind uh, just based on the design. So we do a little test here to uh, to demonstrate that. So this is a little school uh, device built for the specifications that Greg London published. Uh, we built several different versions, uh, at least one of which we posted before for different purposes, but this is his particular variant. Uh, he says uh, downwind faster than the wind with no moving parts. So I scaled it down ever so slightly. These are the uh, drum uh, lid that he suggested using and I did cut him down a bit so that it would fit on a treadmill but the scale is the same as his. Uh, the the uh, veins are out halfway on the lip, uh, a dowel in the center. I'm going to put it on the treadmill. We've got uh, some little strips of wood to try to help hold it on because it's hard to keep it on the treadmill. And I'm going to run it both directions just to make sure everyone's happy about which way it was supposed to run. And you guys can compare the, uh, the results from the good way and the bad way and see what you think. The treadmill is set at 10 miles an hour and it's perfectly level. It's a little bit of a challenge to get a good shot here. Turn it around. One more time. Okay. Take the boards out. To make sure no one thinks there's any funny stuff going on with the boards, we'll try the same experiment real quick. Harder to keep on, but same result, it always wants to come back. 